surface. Held the two and it rolled it in in the middle. Nice one. Up. Layer two. Yes, get in there. Let's play party time. <laughs> Yes, look at that. That's how you do it. Go on, go up now. There we go again, guys. Another jackpot. At least it did. We'll come off with that, I reckon. I've got a few quid there. Here we go, guys. Set it up for the bonus merge. Jackpot! Here we go, guys. Go on, do it. Yes, get in there. Set that up. <laughs> nice. <coughs> Okay, I'll hold it again. Yes! And that is how you do it, guys. Are you sure? Nudge trick for sure? Jackpot, sir. <laughs> Congratulations! Yes, Oh, it'd have been nice if we had one up top as well. That's alright. I love the fibers. Go on. Yeah, nice. Still in, still in. Yeah. I'll have them all day. I wonder if we're going to drop off the seeds. You've got it. Good run. Very good run. Come on. Get a coin in. Oh, new trigger. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. One up there, uh, might as well be a million miles away. <laughs> That'll be it. Is that it? Hey! Oh, <laughs> yeah! Oh. End of a coin out, you never know. That's all right then. Yeah, yeah. What a run out. Nice. Thank you. Whoa. Yes, look at that. Oh, wow. <laughs> what? What? 
a grand look at this big bank at the moment. Wow. Go on. Go on. Yeah, yeah. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Check that out, guys. What a hell of a run. Wow. Wow. This is a big one. Yeah. Very big one. Alright, look at that, guys. So, what is a nudge trick? A nudge trick in a nutshell is getting a win where otherwise you wouldn't have one. When the machine awards nudges, it wants to nudge certain combinations of reels or one reel in this certain way every single time. Now its objective is to pair up uh, two symbols, whether it be two X's, two bars, or two jackpot symbols. Or if the direct wins there, it will wanna give award the win, which majority of the time is the pound on the direct win. So in this scenario here, we got here, we got a uh, X one up, on reels one into three and a bar on number two. First of all, what can it pair up? Well, there's no other bars nudgeable, so it will want to pair up the two X's as there, there is no direct win. So first of all, we need to know what the machine will do naturally, because it will always, always nudge the same combination of reels every single time in a particular scenario. So. Let's get the nudges and see what it will do. And see what the machine wants to do. Okay, so it's brought reels two and three down onto the wind line. Like I said earlier, it just wants to pair up the two symbols. So we know now if we brought reel one into play, we'd have forced a win and potential top feature. So we'll do that, recreate that and bring it in. So all we do, move real one. And that should bring us the win. And there you have it, pound awarded. And you may trigger a top box from that in the wild. Now it's worth mentioning where that bar was, that could have been a jackpot symbol, which is identical scenario. All you need to do is have a gander up those reels, make sure you can't pair up. Because if you can pair it up, it will always bring down that two of a kind. So let's move on to the next one. Okay, in this scenario, we've got nothing on the wind line on reels one and two, but we've got an X above one. And on number two, there's a jackpot symbol and a pound symbol on the win line on number three. Now, if we get nudges here, we cannot get a direct win. Yet again, it's gonna pair up the X's, but we need to know what it's gonna nudge down first. So let's bring those nudges in and see. See what it brings. And there you go. So it's brought real two down all the way down onto the wind line to pair up on the wind line there. So we know yet again, we just need to move that left reel. So we'll bring that left reel down and the machine will do the rest of the work for us. And that's trying to go up, as you can see by that pause. Right, we'll move on to the next nudge trick on the pound. Okay, this is another scenario. This is a five way on the pound. And yet again, it can't match up any of these high symbols. The, uh, so if there was a bar or a jackpot up there, it would definitely bring that down home. And all you could hope for was a hold. Books it can't pair up any of those, we can make use of the setup for the pound. So the pound's five away. First of all, yet again, you need to know what it will bring down itself.
Okay, so it's bought reels one in three down onto the wind line. Uh, so all we need to do is move reel number two down. Bring number two down twice. And there you have it. And yet again, possibility of a top feature. There's so many variations because there are so many X's on each reel that I'd be here all day showing you every individual setup. So, but that is basically the gist. I just want to quickly cover that one point I mentioned earlier. Okay, in this scenario, exactly the same setup, five way for the pound, but is it on the left hand side that bar is there? So I just want to illustrate my point earlier that about the machine's objective to pair up the high symbol. So we'll quickly get the nudges in and we'll try for the pound and see what the machine will do. Okay, so yet again, I'm thinking, hey, I've got a pound. So I bring down that second reel again. This is just to show you, I'm sure you've seen it on many videos, people who uh, haven't looked up the reels and uh, thinking they're gonna get a nice nudge trick and lo and behold, that second high symbol is there. And that's the scenario you get. You're lucky if sometimes that holds, but nine times out of 10, it just nudges it back round to pair up and that's, and that's it. So whenever you get this situation, just have a look up that reel, just to make sure that it isn't there. But you get used to where things are on these reels after you've nudged them a fair few times. Right, so that's it for the pound, because the principle's the same with what, regardless of what setups, it's generally those three setups. Uh, we'll move on to the five pound nudge trick. Okay, so in this scenario, we've got a bar on the middle reel and X is one up on reels one and three. If we have a look up, we've got a bar two up on reel one and a bar three up on reel three. So first of all, we'll see what the machine will do. And the machine will wanna pair up the two bars, obviously and it brings down reel three. So we know what we need to do, just simply need to bring down reel one. So here we go again. So like I said earlier, we'll bring down reel one. And there you go, and we've actually flipped a, a hold on that one. So uh, yeah, we'll have the hold, thank you very much. Nice little bonus if you're in the wild playing this. It's actually trying to go up there, that's what that pausing's all about, but it can't. Right, so that is the only five pound nudge trick. There are no others in existence. The only other way of getting it is third hold, let them spin, or a fluky rolling. And that's that for the fives. Now we're gonna move on to the juicy jackpot nudge tricks. I'm gonna show you every single setup on nudge tricks with a jackpot. There are over, there are 11 setups in total. Um, some are very samey, but they are individual setups nevertheless. So we'll go straight into that now. Okay, we're gonna start with probably the most recognizable nudge trick. I'm sure you've seen this setup. 100 million times on videos on YouTube. I know I've had them, that it's the most common one. This is the first of the four-way setups. And this is very recognizable due to that bar being on reel number two. So, first of all, we'll see what the machine will do. Okay, so we got the nudges. If you remember on the pound setup, very similar to this, you'll know what it's going to do. I think uh, if you can remember, it will bring that middle reel down. Yes, there you go. It's brought it to pair up the jackpot again. So all we need to do is move reel one down. Okay, so we got the nudges and we're, like I said earlier, we'll just notch reel one down and the machine will do the rest.
There you go, a nifty jackpot. So we'll move on to number two. Okay, here's number two, identical to that one we've just performed, but it is a unique one where the difference here is you've got an X on the reel and that jackpot symbol is yet again free away. So we don't need to see what the machine will do. We already know in this situation what it will do. It will bring that down, that middle reel down to three places. So we'll just get it in and uh, see the nudge trick occur. Okay, so we just bring that reel one down and it'll bring in the other. And that's the four way. Again, number two. Okay, so nudge trick four way number three. Uh, in this scenario, we've got a jackpot symbol on reel one on the wind line, two away on number two, and two away on number three. Now we haven't seen any setup like this yet, so we'll see what the machine will bring down. So there you go, so it's brought the jackpot down on reel three onto the wind line to pair up as per usual. So we know all we need to do is bring reel two down twice to form the win. Okay, so we've got the nudges, we'll bring that down. Right then, in this scenario, we've got a jackpot one up on reels one and three, and a jackpot symbol in the middle, two away. So let's see what the machine will do. Okay, so we got the nudges. And we know it's gonna pair up the two jackpot symbols on the wind line, it's just a question of which reels. So reels two and three move down onto the wind line. Yet again, we know what to do. Let's move that reel one into play. Okay, so yet again, reel one, and that will force the win. And there you go, jackpot's in the bag. Right, in this scenario, we've got a jackpot above the wind line on reels one and two, and two away on number three. So let's see what the machine will do. So we got the nudges, and we know what it's gonna do, and that's pair up the two jackpot symbols. And yet again, similar to the one we've just seen, it brought down reels two and three. So on this occasion, again, we just need to get number one into play. Okay, so we move reel one down once. And there you go. Yet again, like before, we move reel one, because we know it's gonna move reels two and three. But yet again, there's a unique setup, so.
Right, we're moving on to the last two four-way setups. They are very, very similar. Clue to the jackpot being in the right position is the presence of those double X. The one is on the wind line and the one is directly underneath it. And free away is a jackpot symbol. So, uh, first of all, we need to know what the mach machine will do. So we've activated nudges. And it's brought real free down onto the wind line. So all we need to do is simply move real two into play. Okay, so all I'm gonna do is move real number two. Okay, so the last of the four ways, as you can see, we've got that double X again, and it is free away, but this time the jackpot symbols have alternated. So we've got it one up on real one, and it's on the win line on number two. But in the, uh, just as like the one we've just seen, it will still bring that third reel down three ways. So instead of moving reel two, all we're doing is moving reel one. So we have the nudges, let's bring in the win. And there you go, another jackpot's in the bag. And that is the last of the four ways. We'll now show you the few five ways that are in existence. And that will bring the total up to 11 in total nudge tricks for jackpot. So let's crack on with the five ways. Okay, in this scenario then, we've got jackpot symbol one off, one off the wind line on number one, two off on number two and three. So we need to see what the machine will do in this instance. It's very similar this one to the pound five way, but obviously a variation of uh, layout of the reels because of the pound symbols. So uh, it brought down reels one and three. So the missing piece of the puzzle is bring down reel two for us. Okay, so all we do is bring down reel two twice. And there you go, the first of the five ways. Okay, so here we go, the second of the five ways, identical to the one we've just shown you. Jackpot symbols are in exactly the same location, but with a difference on real two, we've got an X on the wind line as opposed to underneath the jackpot. So it is still a unique setup in its own right. So we'll bring that in. And as we know before, Reels one in three will move, so we just bring reel two down again. And there you go, another JP in the bag. Okay, so this is the very last nudge trick for the jackpot on the five way. And by far, I think this is the most difficult one to either set up, 
uh, obtain in any way. It is extreme. It's very rare one, this one, but you do get it now and then. I tend to have this by manually setting it up by having nudges prior, then getting the hold and then getting nudges again. But anyway, so the jackpot symbol's two away on number one. It's one up on number two and two up on number three. We can't get the pound wings, it's too far away. So let's see what the machine will do. So we got the nudges. And as we know, it'll want to pair up two jackpot symbols on the win line. Okay, so it's move reels two and three. So the missing piece of the puzzle, we just need to move jackpot symbol on number reel one on the wing line. Okay, so we got the nudges, and as we know, we just move reel one into play. And that is it, that is a wrap. That's all 11 nudge tricks for jackpot shown. So that was easy, wasn't it? <laughs> it's easy when you know how. The key is recognizing what the machine will nudge itself and you just filling in the missing piece of the puzzle. It is a lot of trial and error. Just as you um, practice these, you will get used to uh, what one what is on the reels and where they're located and two what the machine will do to help you get your win and that's it right I do, now we finished all the nudge tricks i just want to briefly cover a way you can increase the potential of actually obtaining a nudge trick by a couple of methods okay so the machine's just rolled this in during play and it looks like it's a potential setup, but when you look up the reels, no, the jackpot's miles away. So what can we do? Uh, well, we can hold them, roll the reels, and hopefully it will drop something that's to our advantage. Okay, so it's dropped in the X on the win line. Should we have a gander? Oh, and look, there's a jackpot free away, and we know what we need to do in this situation. Just bring that left reel into play. So by holding them two, we've managed to flukily get a nudge trick jackpot. So on the five way, we know we got uh, jackpot on reels one and three, but there's nothing on reels two. So we hold the two. And Lo and behold, look at that. As if by magic, we've got a setup. We'll bring that middle reel down. Yet again, by holding the two, we've encouraged it to give us a jackpot nudge trick. You'll be surprised how many times you'll get this. Okay, so I've just illustrated what I meant by holding certain things to encourage and restrict that'll work for the five pound also where you have the bar two away on reel one and the bar on the win line i always hold them you've probably seen in a hundred videos it's always worth doing because you never know you all you're doing is utilizing one credit it's really it's really not that bad so that's 30p for a potential five or jackpot so we've seen how to hold to get a potential nudge trick now let's see how we can actually set up a nudge trick. Right then, so in this scenario, we've got a right mixed bag here. We've got a jackpot symbol on reel three, bar on number two, and an X on above reel one. Now at first sight, that looks like a one pound nudge trick, where we bring the middle reel down twice. But if we have a quick look up the side of the reel, three away on the left is a jackpot symbol. So if we get nudges, can we do something with this setup? Now we haven't got a jackpot symbol nudgeable on real free, so we know we haven't got a jackpot setup. 
but let's get the nudges and see if we can set up a nudge tray. Okay, so we got nudges. I've had a gander up the side of the reel and I'm just gonna bring that down twice on reel one. And as we know, if that bar's one under, Uh, that that now is a potential nudge trick for jackpot the jackpot is three away on the middle and one up on number one so we got the hold we'll hold them all and lo and behold we get the nudges and we know what we need to do in this situation bring that left reel down And there you go, from nothing, we have now got a jackpot and potential top board. And that's how you do it. Right, in this scenario, if you get presented with this on the win line, in this scenario, which is helpful, you've got a jackpot symbol under the win line. And that tells me that the other jackpot symbol is six away. All I do is bring it three places down, get the hold, Hold them all again, because we know the jackpot's free away. And the nudge trick is on. And we know all we need to do is move that left reel. And that is it, ladies and gents. That is all the nudge tricks. Let's see. You know how to hold things to hopefully increase your chances again, a nudge trick. And where you haven't got a win, but you've got jackpot symbols in view, possibly setting one up. Obviously, getting the hold, there's no guarantee. And if it does hold, there's no guarantee it will give you the nudges. Uh, I've, you see it hundreds of times where you do set it up, hold, and it doesn't nudge. It's just the way it is. There's nothing you can do about it, but by attempting to get it, you are increasing your chances and your winning potential is theoretically going up. So give it a go and let me know how you get on. If you'd like to comment on this video, feel free. If there's anything I can add, something I didn't include, which you'd like to have seen, or just a general comment, comment, you can get me on my Snapchat, which is coming up right there. Or you can get me on my Facebook page, which is coming up there. And you can send messages on there and they'll come direct to me and I'll answer them as quick as possible. Or you go to my Facebook page, if you want to give me a cheeky like, that'll be great. And then once you have liked it, you'll get information on future meetups or offers, because we are going to be doing our competitions again in the future. So that's it, guys. I hope you're all well and safe, and I look forward to presenting more videos in the future. Ta-ra for now.